Okay, the first one that I got was Scar King, but let's get through um the main characters, the villains, and all the stuff. All right. So um I'll yes, I already opened these figures. I wanted them all open um before the movie came out. So yes, I I did open these figures, but I did keep the packages. I did keep the packages and. I mean, I always do, but like, this time, I did collect them on a perfect shape, like, they're not damaged, I mean, thumbs up, but like, they're not that damaged. Yeah, and of course, Godzilla and Bob is here. The, the reason that I don't want them, I don't want, okay, let me, let me see here. The only reason that I didn't got this Godzilla is because, I mean, I don't like it like I prefer the Godzilla this like this type of Godzilla from the Godzilla versus Kong the black one that has the um the heat ray or the or the atomic burp whatever I do like that version I don't like this version so that's the reason I, I didn't get this one and I didn't get Suko because he's just too hard to find and I don't want to waste money on eBay or Amazon or whatever. I um, just prefer have them have these four main characters. All right, as you can see, we have Godzilla out of the package. He's heat ray, and but let's get through his box first. As you can see, we have um, Godzilla and K and Kong in the package. We have Godzilla and both, obviously by the Playmates Legendary Toho. And more than um, four plus. That's important. Uh, the, at the top of the package, we have the master, the masterverse, Godzilla, X Kong, the New Empire, and the Warner. Yep. At the side of the package, we don't have too much. We only have, we only see Godzilla involved. And the other side of the package, we have an image, a cool image, and the title. At the back of the package, we don't have um, too much information, and I'm pretty sure. It will be the same thing from the others. If the only difference is, is obviously the main picture at the back. We have the little information of the movie. And the information of Godzilla and Bob. The monster verse again, Godzilla and Bob. With his rich ray. And the rest of the figures. Yes. I won't review the other boxes because they're mainly the same thing. All right. We have Godzilla here and he I will say at first I thought he was gonna be better. Like I thought I was gonna like this figure. I do like it, but there's some stuff I don't like. For example, I do like the transparent thing on his back, but like then he still like it's not the same thing. And he's also missing some paint details. Like this thing is supposed to be painting, painted, right? His eyes. What can I say? Um, he's he looks kind of goofy. I'm gonna say this. He looks kind of goofy, and yes, I was, I didn't like the skin color that he that they made because on the Godzilla, the normal Godzilla. In this package, his skin is different. I'm thinking that they're both the same skin, right? But look, it's not the first time they also did this. The same thing, the Godzilla versus Kong. They they made two different Godzillas, and two of them had different skin color. So I'm like, I'm getting confused. But look, this this is a good figure. I'm pretty sure he's a good figure to play, and yeah, this. Yeah, I do like his figure. I do like his figure. And um, articulation, he can move his legs um, um, from the back. That's great. Same as his arms. Oh, he can also move his feet. That's great. He can rotate his arms. That's great. And they're kind of like gummy. You can move his hands like this. You cannot move his head at all. In 360, you cannot move it. So, and I won't recommend it to to 
forcefully turn it around because or else it will break it. You can move his mouth open and close. And of course you have the heat right you can put it in. This is like a little hole and there you might you guys might not see it. Let me just Now on the heat ray we have this little thing so we can put it in. We can put it inside of his mouth. And that uh, and that's how we get it. And I would say that he looks good with this heat ray. I do like it. Uh it's too late, it's not the time to to put it on. You can also rotate his tail to a sixty. Yes, you can take it off and take it and put it in. Uh, I won't recommend it to take it off again because, man, it's just, it's just, it's a struggle. Like, we can struggle, especially because he spikes. You try to force it, you can end it up hurting yourself or breaking your finger. Yes, um, yes, I do like Godzilla. Like, I would rate him like a, like a 8 out of 10 figure. There's some stuff that I don't like. And there's some good stuff I do like. But for now, I will give him an 8. Because his heat ray. His heat ray is just all plastic and transparent. All normal. <clears throat> and now. And now we're going to come. My bad for the. Uh, Sorting out. Now we have Kong. With the beast glove. And this ship, I don't, cannot remember the name of the ship. It's called Biomimic Hip, as you can see here. Yeah. And Khan looks great. I will say that he looks way better than Godzilla X Khan figures. I mean, Godzilla versus um, Khan figures. Yes, he looks way better. Like I do like his new head sculpt. I do like his new head sculpt. I do like his new head sculpt, and yes, like he just looks way better, way better. I do like his scars on his chest. I do like that, and his articulations are not that limited. So you can play with him. You can put him up and down. The circles. You can fold his throat. You can also turn it, turn it around. You can also move his like this. Yeah, but you cannot do that to the other mom since the old thing. It's, it's just it's cold. You can move this around and go up and more, up and down. You can. Oh, you I think you can. You, can, you might not because it has the little silver thingy. Yes. I was oh, and on his feet you can put a he can kick and he can go not too much at the back as you can see yes and he can do this you cannot rotate his and uh, his feet that's okay you can you oh yeah yeah you can and 360 I won't recommend it and yes and this figure and um, he's a different sculpt like this whole version is just not his face, like his hands, his torso, like the whole thing is a different sculpt from the Godzilla vs. Kong, Kong figure. And his accessory is not the axe, this time it's not the axe, we have the ship. And it looks normal, it looks, looks, looks nice. Not that important. And, got, and Kong has a glove because he suddenly just got hurt from scar on when they first fought and yes and yes i do like this car figure i really do he's kind of heavy he's kind of heavy but he's good i do like his paint sculpt and i do like his paint also like the way how they paint this figure i do like it, it looks way better way better i do like his new teeth his eyes like everything is a it's good like i will give this figure a 10 out of 10 like this nothing the 
there's nothing wrong about this figure. I do like love this figure. And now we're going to Scar King. We have the main villain from the movie, and I will I will say, I didn't like his figure. I love Scar King in the movie. Like, there's a lot of things that it's just not doesn't represent Scar King from his figure. Like, yes, this is like some stuff that do represent. For what I'm talking about is the way of his eyes, like. Focus camera, focus. Like his eyes is just blue. Like his eyes from the movie. Uh, I, I think you can also see it from the trailer. His eyes is not just blue. They have some white on it also. So that's what I mean. But like about that, his this figure looks great. Like I do love his articulation on this figure. I will say he has the most articulation from all four figures. We have his accessory to weight plush it, this is not that accurate because okay you guys have not seen the movie yet uh but i don't recommend watching this video but on the movie he has a crystal on his weight plush so i'm like what so where's the crystal that's what i'm saying so his weight, uh, his weight plush is not that good or accurate to the movie but look something is something um scar king we have scar king yeah i don't know if he's a an ape like kong or a gorilla whatever i don't know what type of ape is he but like he's kind of weird but super strong and his agility agility is super great he has a lot of circulation for example he said he can rotate 360. he can also rotate his hands Go up and down, rotate his hand, his fist. You can move his torso, um, front and back, front and back, and kind of do side to side. You can also move his legs and up and front of it, and not too much at the back. You can do this type of articulation, and he doesn't have the articulation on his feet. Yes. And you can put his whip flash on his hands on on this hand. You cannot put on the other hand. That's kind of messed up. And yeah, we have Scar King with his whip flash trying to conquer the world and Kong got with Godzilla trying to stop his plans. Oh, I'm talking about his um paint and his gold. I really don't. Think that he's too much accurate, accurate with his gold. Like um, they couldn't done them way better, but I get that they they made these figures way before the movie came out, so that I can explain that. His paint, I do like it. I will say it's too red. Like uh, for, sometimes I do forget that this is just his paint. Like this is not Scar King's um hair or whatever, like fur. But like yes i would say he's a good figure i will give him an eight out of ten also and now we have the final figure of this way we have shimu i just got him yesterday i just got him yesterday and i couldn't find shimu since i bought these figures like shimu was super hard to find like he was too hard but not that hard as suko like that whole figure i couldn't find him in target or walmart nowhere but I, I, I went to Walmart yesterday and I didn't want to buy nothing, but I said, I'm like, I will just double double check myself. So I went to Walmart and I just went to the toy section and I thought, uh, he was the only one. I will find Shimo and I'm like, oh, don't care. I was just grabbing him and boom, I bought him. I think only $10, I think. Oh, I cannot remember the price. Ten dollars on stores. He's super hard to find. I don't know why. Maybe because it's Shimu. Shimu. But yeah, Shimu is a, you know, Shimu Shimu. I do like this figure. I don't think. No, actually, yes. Wait. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Yeah, I think Shimu is my favorite figure of this wave. Like, 
Yes, like he's my top 10 Monster Burst figures that I have in my collection. Actually, he's my top five. Like, I do like the Shimu figure. He's a good figure. And his accessories, he says, the same as Godzilla's by Blue. And obviously, is And what's this thing called? This thing is called the Frostbite Blast. Frostbite Blast. That is great. Yeah, and same as Godzilla, he. Wait, let's go through his art collection first. As you can see, got and Shimu has. He's he's he he said he can rotate up and down. He can also rotate his head 360. You can also open his mouth. That's great. And same as Godzilla, wow, you can actually open his mouth from over here. And same as Godzilla, he has a hole. You put a hole with this stick and put it in. Mines, I don't know if I. It's mice, it's mice, or that's how the figure comes. But he, his stick doesn't actually sticks on the hole, but that's how you, that's how you get it. Yeah. All right. And Shimu is not that big as Godzilla because Shimu is supposed to be a bit more bigger than Godzilla. But like, okay, this is just a toy. And Shimu has articulations also on his feet. I mean, all, he has more articulation on his front feet. Like, he doesn't have too much articulation on his back feet. I will show you. Shimu can open his hands like this. Like, like he's flying. He can rotate it also. 360. That is great. Yep, going back and forward, and he can rotate his feet also. That's great, and he and his back feet he can also he can just move his legs and from the back. That's it, and you can also rotate his his feet. Yes, he also has articulation on his feet, and like I said, same like Godzilla, you have to put in the detail to his body it's not that hard. it's not that difficult as Godzilla Godzilla says make it is Godzilla just made it more difficult because he has spikes and all that stuff but yeah he can rotate his legs I mean his legs his tails around like you can put it it's in the side you can also rotate it whatever and yes Shimo is actually a good figure like I do like Shimo and his and his participation on the movie was amazing. I do like Shimo, and I won't give too much information about Shimo on this video because you guys have not seen the movie. I'm not gonna say anything. But Shimo was a great, was a great, and um, villain. <laughs> you can say that a great villain, a great monster. But yeah, um. I do like his paint. I like I do like his uh, his coat. Uh, I think he's very accurate to Shimu. Like he was on the movie. And yes, I do like his paint. And same as Godzilla, his crystals on his head are also transparent and on his back. But same as like I said, same as Godzilla, his tail doesn't have that that transparent just paint. Yes, and you can also like post them. That's amazing. Like, look at that. I do love Shimu. And yes, guys, this is it. Like, this is it. Like, I do hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. I know I have been gone too long, and I. Uh, do sorry i'm do sorry that i haven't post videos but like now i'm back i'm back i will try to make more videos more often if not i will post something short so whatever but like i will do something about this channel this channel is not extinct i won't stop this uh, channel i will keep going i will keep posting more videos and i will also be talking about why i haven't post 
videos like I used to back then in 2021 and half of 2022. And I will explain that in a whole different video. But right now, I think it's time for me to go and take care. Alright, see y'all in the next video. Bye, everyone.